Trevor, thank you for joining our program today. Why, why did the uh, Jimmy Olive's restaurant decided to come to Hong Kong at this particular time? Because we all know we still have this financial crisis is going on. Yeah, um, Jamie's Italian has proven to be very resilient against um, recessionary forces in the UK. It was quite amazing when I first went to Jamie's Italian in March, which was on a Wednesday evening when it was raining and in Kingston on Thames, which is outside of London, um, I found a crowd of people waiting to get into a restaurant in the middle of a recession. Uh, and that was at half past seven in the evening, and it's a 200-seater restaurant, huge big one. And at 9.30 that evening as I left, there was still a line of people. And that is the same with Jamie's Italian all the way through the UK. And as we know, the United Kingdom has been in a worse recession than we have. It's hurt a lot more. Unemployment is much higher and Jamie's Italian has been very successful there. I think that also bringing, starting up a restaurant group in Asia is not dependent on the economic cycle. I think that one is going to take a long-term view and that's what we plan to do. And besides Hong Kong, uh, will you also expand this restaurant chain to other parts of Asia? Yeah, the initial plan is to, to establish 30 restaurants in Asia. Uh, we initially believe that we'll establish around about three to four in Hong Kong and two in Singapore. And then we, we will be looking for partners to join us in establishing the restaurants in the other parts of the um, Asian region. And that would be include Japan, China, um, Taiwan and Korea, and of course, um, Thailand and Indonesia, Malaysia, Vietnam. Well, about this franchising, it seems localization is very important, right? Localization is, is, is absolutely important. Um, there, there are a couple of cases that I think are of great interest. One of them is McDonald's and McDonald's sensitivity to people. And when they enter India, of course, um, the cow being sacred, the beef was not on the menu. And, and they had to get around that problem, which they very successfully did. But one of the greatest um, localization um, marketing ventures I ever, I can remember, is effectively is the, the Mars chocolates, M&Ms um, as they're known in the United States. When the, 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 the company entered China um, in the, the late 80s, early 90s, they were cognizant that they had to make sure that they produced a product that would actually be suitable to the Chinese taste. And they created the, the Dove branded um, chocolate bar, which is very much the flavor of the Chinese. Western people do not find it that appetizing, and yet the Chinese do not find Western flavored chocolates as appetizing as they do the, the dove. So that's localization taken to the absolute degree and making it work. That's very really interesting indeed. And thank you very much for joining our program today. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much.